I'm here at RSAC 2025, checking out the Ubiquiti booth, and let's take a look at what they've got going on. Coming into the booth, we've got this massive video wall and video floor. We can see all the enterprise racks. These are not actual enterprise racks. This is a video wall. And then they've also got a video floor down here and they're showing some of their, uh, showing off some of their protect stuff on the other side here. Now at this event, they don't have a lot of equipment lying around that they're showing off. They're more talking to folks that are at this conference, but they do have a Pro Max rack and an enterprise rack. So let's take a look at those. So there's Tom from UI right here talking to some folks, but right here we have the Pro Max rack. So starting at the top, we've got the UDM Pro Max, and of course those are redundant. We've got some of the aggregation switches right below, the USW Pro aggregation. They've got a couple of those, but only one is actually in use. Coming down a little bit further, we've got 48 port Pro Max switches. And then down below we have the Unify power amp right there. Now I have one of these in my living room. I can tell you it is nice and loud with really, really good audio, but I have not used it for actual commercial purposes. And then down below, we've got the NVR Pro. We've got another NVR Pro and then same form factor, but these last two here are the UNAS Pro. And then finally at the very bottom of the rack, we've got our Power Distribution Pro. And this is the Enterprise Rack that they've got on display. So starting at the top here, we've got the little gap fillers that they sell, patch panel. Uh, we have the Enterprise 24, and then we've got a redundant set of Enterprise Fortress Gateways, or the EFG. Right below that, there we go, look at that, Enterprise 100G aggregation with those 100 gig uh, SFPs on the side here. Or I guess they're what, 100 gig SFP 28s? I forget exactly what they are. Then we've got the Enterprise 48, another Enterprise 48, another Enterprise 48, one more Enterprise 48, and then down here we've got a set of three AI keys doing their thing in the nice little rack mount accessory that they've got. And then below that, we've got a stack of four of the Enterprise NVRs. Of course, with the gorgeous RGB faceplate, and down at the very, very, very bottom here, another Power Distribution Pro. They've got a few cameras on display here. We can see the G6 Bullet. Uh, this is the G6 Turret. And then we have the G6 Instant. These aren't labeled or anything, but I verify that that's what these cameras actually are. And then if we come up past this other video wall, right here is the AI Dome. And you can see they've got that sort of double mounting pole where you've got an AI Dome on each side of this thing. Getting all the angles. And then this is a brand new one, all right? This is the AI PTZ, similar to the, I guess it was a G4 PTZ, that uh, black large one that they came out with. Uh, so this is not released yet, but they are displaying it here at this conference. Uh, that'll be coming soon, the AI PTZ. And I found their second Unify booth where we've got a lot more equipment on display here. This is a smaller booth, but we've got all the stuff. So this is their lineup of uh, AI and G5 cameras. As you can see, these cameras come in either black or white, depending on your need as far as installation goes. So we've got the AI 360, AI turret, AI dome. This one has the weather shield on it. G5 turret ultra. G5 Dome Ultra, this is the one that I use in my own office, and then the G5 PTZ, which I absolutely love this camera. I've got the white one here uh, out in my backyard and uh, it tracks uh, my dogs when they go run around the yard and stuff. It's actually kind of fun. Then over here we have the AI PTZ again, but again, this one's the black form factor. The one they had at the other booth was the uh, white form factor, but this is a massive beast of a camera. Almost looks like Darth Vader helmet. Over here we have the access stuff, the Unify access stuff. Here we can see the intercom, this big guy right here. There's me, hello. 
scan QR code, you got a directory, pin unlock, NFC, big buttons right here. And this also works in conjunction with the intercom viewer over here. So for example, if I hit live view, there we've got this over here. So this is pulling its camera feed and audio uh, from this one over here. See, camera right there but you can see my finger on the other screen there. And then of course, here's the gate hub and you have the little AI Feta Pro camera. And then this box right here is kind of a cool little case that they've built here. Unify, look at that. I'll show you the back in a second where they actually have the connections coming in, but this is their display case for the Axis stuff. And we've got more readers and stuff right in here, including the Cloud Gateway Mac. So this is all kind of a self-contained little access setup they've got. Ooh, nice like leather handle on this thing too. And there you can see around the back of that little case, they've got two uh, ethernet plugs as well as power. That's really cool. They don't sell this though. Over here, look at their access points. Here we've got the access point E7. You can see this is quite a large access point with that sort of more square form factor. We got the access point U7 Pro XGS. And here is the Pro Outdoor. I have not seen this one before. Uh, it's almost the same exact form factor as the regular U7 Outdoor, but it definitely feels heavier. And the cool thing about this is this does have the six gigahertz radio embedded, but when you put on these antennas on top, it's directional in six gigahertz, but omnidirectional in 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. So that's pretty cool. Moving on down, we've got the uh, E7 campus right here. Again, not super big, not as big as the uh, access point E7, but still uh, enterprise grade uh, Wi-Fi 7 access point. And then coming around this side, here we have the E7 audience. And look at this thing. This thing is a massive access point. You see they've got these connectors for weatherproofing down here at the bottom. Yeah, this thing's awesome. And then a couple of the more common ones here. We've got both of the in-walls. This is the U7 in-wall. This one's gonna have the switch ports on the bottom, whereas the U7 Pro wall is meant to be flush with the wall, and it's got that sort of plate that you can put over the front to kind of try to make it disappear by painting the plate so that it's the it matches whatever wall it's on. And then a couple of gateways here. We've got the Dream Router 7, Cloud Gateway Fiber, and then we've got the Switch Flex XG. So there you go, quick look at what's happening with Unify at RSAC 2025. If you guys happen to be here, Try to find me and say hi. I'll be here uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, and then I go back home on Thursday. All right. Thanks so much for watching.